Need something?
Strang in combat fair, Finian cycles kept. The exploits of this maiden's role, a burdensome and heavy toll. She lived among the mortal clans and bargained with their kind. Throughout the town they stood in fear of the brilliant fighter near.
everyone in Gorhart is talking about the attacks. They say that the Red Legion is receding back into the shadows from whence they came. It is all thanks to you. You found the formula and destroyed it. Now, you may think you understand the impact of this act, but you truly do not. You are a friend to this village and to me, Nanny Henry. Take this. It is not much, but it gives you an idea of my gratitude. The villagers believe it's haunted, but I have a feeling that's a ruse devised by the Red Legion. They mean to terrorize these people into submission, and it's working. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination, and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. For years I dabbled in alchemy, healing, divination and transmutation. All of that seems frivolous now, what with the war looming over us. Now I spend my sleepless nights in search of a formula that will end such conflicts forever. They are the undying, the corrupted roots. Their existence is an abomination. Everything in Amalur exists for a particular reason, except for the Tuatha. They're not meant to be. Bandits, ruthless and well organized. The Red Legion is reaping many rewards by preying on vulnerable Almain settlers traveling east. Long ago, these villains confined themselves to the coast, but recently they've moved inland to avoid the war. Now they're our problem. They seem so eager to aid me in my work that I've failed to pursue the proper references. Yes, I have only myself to blame for this catastrophe. How was I to know he was a scout and a thief? His interest in alchemy appeared genuine. Our friendship was that too an act. If you must know, my name is Nanny Henry, formerly the chief alchemist of Alistar. But you wouldn't know what that is, would you? When the scholars in the tower ordered me to leave the grounds, I took refuge here. The Almain are a private people, keen to keep to themselves, like me. Farewell. Need supplies? Try the corner shop. Hello there. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Mitharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Mitharu compels you to see justice done, then... I won't stand in your way. If such creatures were not part of the Authority's plan, then they would not exist in nature, period. Mitharu's divine order governs all, even the Fey. He would be a good man if he could see past the rigidity of his faith. Mitharu embraces all, not simply those that the Church deems worthy. 
It is the name I chose when I baptized myself in the clear waters of Matharu. I have undergone the ordination rites, and am as legitimate as any monk. You don't know. It is less a mission than a fortress of deception, a citadel of lies. It throws its menacing shadow over all of Gorhart. Father Dinwell will try to defend his cause, but he is simply a soldier, marching to the orders passed down to him. None of them have minds of their own. She was wronged by someone in this village. That is an injustice I can understand. By its appearance, you'd assume Gorhart is a pleasant place. Never make assumptions. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. Greetings. Crazy ah. sister Zelda. Welcome to Gorhart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? The Alfar and the Tuatha have been at each other's throats for nearly a decade now. I can't remember the reason. I wonder if they can, the fools. You will find it settled on a small lake beside the Eastern Road. Compared to Gorhart, Dydenhill could be called a city. The Fey are elemental creatures, magical and strange. None too considerate of us mortals, either. They see us like pets, or worse, like bugs. It's best that you stay out of the Eastern Forest. I've seen things you can't even imagine. The road is dark and dangerous, and it's a long hike to Dydenhill. Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Nettie the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. Oh, I doubt it's an organized group. More likely that it's one scared idiot with a knife. 
I heard someone in the village mention the Red Legion, but that can't be true. Me? Widowed, going on five years now. All my boys were taken by the Tuatha. Both sons, my brother, and my beloved Avery. Wicked business, this war. I refuse to speak of them. Please respect my wishes. See me again. Stay indoors after sundown. Need something? I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust to life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? My experience is limited to Arnik Arduna and Katrin Orway. They seem the same as any of the rest of us. Wiser, perhaps, but decent, hard-working folk. Truth be told, I know nothing of why the Tuatha are at war with the Alfar, nor why men fight the way they do. All I know is who picks up the pieces. The Tuatha's madness infected the Winter Court. All Fey existed peacefully for centuries, until the Tuatha got involved. It's sad. I'm hardly a scholar, but I can tell you what I know. There are two Fey factions, the gentle Court of Summer, and its coarser cousin, the Court of Winter. As a child, we were told stories of their ancient rivalry. These are surely myths, but enough to scare a young girl. In the last few years, the Court of Winter has fallen, corrupted by a group of powerful Fae called the Tuatha. It's the Tuatha we fight, and the Tuatha we will defeat. I would think they were a myth if not for the Tuatha. The Fae keep far from us. Perhaps they view us as intruders in their lands. Perhaps they disapprove of our civilized ways. Perhaps they know something we don't. I fear that most of all. I was a miller's love who became a miller's wife. Now I am the wife of a soldier. My duty is to hold vigil for my beloved and for all our men on the lines. 
I was born and raised right here in the village. Well, not in Gorhart proper, but on a farmstead outside the village boundaries. It was a good life. Before the war, of course. It's strange. Those old birds have been perched on that hill for as long as I can remember, staring down over the rest of us in the village like hawks. I know so little about them. I don't even know their names. It's my understanding that they were once members of the Court of Winter, and Fay like any other. But something dark lured them, took them, and twisted them in its grip. Goodbye. Need something? Yeah, what can I get you? Behave yourself. Stay indoors after sun. How are you doing? If you're ever feeling overburdened with the weight of the world, feel free to visit us here. Our home is your home. Frustrating, that one. Stubborn to the spirit. She claims to know the will of Matharu better than those of us who have spent a lifetime studying scripture. If only she would be touched by the hand of reason.
Oh, I didn't see you come in. I was reading this letter, and... Is there anything I... Can I... I never thought it would happen. They're coming. Even with everything else going on in this village, the Red Legion is coming for me. I was not always the pious man you see before you. No, I was a scoundrel, a raider in the dreaded Red Legion, a gang of the notorious bandit Red the Dead Idward. But plunder could not sustain me. I wanted something more. Several of us faked our deaths and deserted, always knowing that Red might track us down. And now, he has. It's all here in Red's letter. He demands we satisfy the blood right. Two lives for one. He'll let me go, but only if I kill the men who deserted with me. But I cannot. I could hand myself over to Red, but he'd have me killed. The only other choice is to kill the men who left with me. I can't do that. I'm not the man I used to be. I do what I must. I only hope Ugnar and Itrin will forgive me. Ugnar works in Gorhart village. Itrin haunts the ruins near Haxi, still struggling with his demons. Be on your guard. I fear they will likely come for me as well. When it's finished, Take their daggers and bring them to Red Edward. He will demand proof. Take mine to start. Good luck, my friend. May Mithoru bless you. Ugna works for the inn at Gorhart. Etrin has taken to calling himself the Shade and robs travelers in Haxi. It is a sacrament of the Red Legion. When you commit a crime, you must pay a penance. Surrender your life or the lives of two others. I'll admit it. My past is a tapestry of drunkenness and loose morals, women and wine. I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't have gotten where I am without making mistakes. The people here are kind, yet suspicious. They believe the mission harbors secrets and they're right. Ugnar could always be found by Red's side, Red's right hand. But beneath his brutal exterior, Ugnar was a good man, tortured by the ghosts of his dead wife and children. Itrin, however, rivals only Red Idward in his bloodlust. They say he was once a Justicar, but was expelled for brutality. His devotion to his god Enadon is fanatical. I fought under Red for years, yet I know nothing of him. I do know this. He will do anything to get what he wants. The most dangerous kind of man is one without limits. It filled the hunger I was hoping to sate with wine, women, anything and everything. The mission gives my life meaning. Mithoru is with you. 